So 3.30 going outside to start your trailer is no fun. No, it takes about 30 seconds, I think. The generator started. I don't what? Know if Nobody on. pushed a button. Oh, we got bad news too about the Razor. Yeah, Razor's no El Bueno. I think we covered that a little bit last video. But I don't even want to talk about it. Brandy Hoover reporting live from the scene of the latest developments in the dandy off-road garage. Um, we have good news. We have bad news. You'll be happy. You'll be sad. You'll laugh. You'll cry. But first, the smiles come. Uh, sir, what is happening in this garage right now? Well, well sir. We're doing stuff. We're, okay, there you go. Just, I like it. We're doing stuff. I like that. That's how the video starts right there. So, um, other sir, yeah. can you tell me what type of stuff you're doing? Uh, Rob showed up with some seats he's been talking about for over a year. And I was like, uh, mm. sold. Because Let's go. I'm going to go slow-mo. Go. I want you to slow-mo sexy music. Get a little further back and do it again. Okay. I want you to be like sexy music right here with Rob in it, just holding it. And, like, <laughs> and then I'm going to be like, oh, my God. No. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, those are the seats. Yeah. I sat in it. Um, here's where we are. And he's giving them away. It was a yard sale. Fire sale. Yard sale. So what we're doing now is um, we were like immediately before he changes his mind. Did I give you money? Yes. Okay. Before he changes yeah, his yeah. mind, um, we just gave him the cash and we're nice bolting him into our car box. so he can't. No takes these backsies out here. Um, he wouldn't. Have. Thank you, Rob. Are you welcome? So we have that going on. We have some other stuff that we're going to be doing in this video. We got things happening. Like like Rob said, what are you doing? Stuff. Oh, we got bad news too about the razor. Yeah, Razor's no El Bueno. I think we covered that a little bit last video, but I don't even want to talk about it. It makes him real sad, so I'll tell you just a little quick blip. We're not going to have it for Glamis. The last Glamis trip is next week. There's probably, no, there's absolutely no way it'll be ready for us. So I'm really bummed. I'm really, really bummed. Now I've talked to, so, you know, Dustin at Polaris. He's been awesome. Yeah, you put him in. You know, um, and of course, to Larry Polaris, Nathan, everybody, those guys have been freaking rad to deal with, and they have just kept us updated. Um, Polaris did Expedite. We did all kinds of stuff, blah, blah, blah. Everybody, we did. We changed out. They changed out all the sensors, the map sensors, the boost sensors. They started changing out the camshaft position sensor or whatever. Um, there's some stuff going on. So I, I'm not going to really get into it. You guys can just ask below if you want, and then maybe we'll tell you next video. I don't know, but it's a bad deal. Anywho, let's move on to happy thoughts. Yeah, we just bought new seats. We weren't expecting it. That's a round on Thursday night. Boom, look at those seats. Well, you Very know nice. what I mean? We're not going to be buying gas for the Razor, so might as well buy seats. And my back hurts, so this actually is good. Did you hear what I just said? See, that's a positive. We don't have to We don't have to pull doubles, and we're not buying gas, extra gas. Well, also, we were going to have to buy a helmet. No, we don't. That's right. That saved us a couple hundred bucks because the one helmet, out, he wasn't going to get himself a helmet. Oh, yeah. That looks good in here. Can we pop those red belts on for a little splash of color? We found the solution. Well, now, now, this. Now, uh, now we don't have to buy a helmet. Let me see that real quick. I just want to see how far forward it I like to be, I like to see all oh, the that way that might work good on your back. Yeah, that's what back. I mean. All the way over. These guys are crazy. <gasps> oh, holy shoot. <laughs> yep. The only thing, only concern I have about that is maybe the belts. No, but this is like, yeah, we'll, we can squeeze okay. in because it's a memory foam. I just want the belts to pull you on. Pull on, pull we on will squeeze weirdly. it in, memory foam. This is my new jam. Alright. Oh let, my god. Let me try it. Let me see. Okay. Well, you can't even get in right now, so I'm switching my. Yeah, he has so much more room than he did. I can already tell. He was up high. Weird because I felt Those seats up. felt lower, but yeah. I think it's the way the back is, babe, when you're down because that's. The stock seats, like they. You're. Uh, about where I was. Are you? Oh, you're not all the way back, though, like you were a minute ago. True, true, true. Yeah, get in your riding position. I don't know. I feel like you're not all the way back, though. Because it was definitely more room a second ago, but now the. Well. We'll figure it out. We'll figure you it might out. get a new helmet, too. What? Because you know what? I Like I said, we're not putting gas in a razor. So good. Seats. What? Yeah. yeah, I love them. I love them. I do love them. All right, we'll be back yeah. with the next awesome news flash. Head into the wolf pack, and we're gonna have a gin start auto. <laughs> Here we go. Is that all we can do? Ew. 
So what's happening over here between the table? So um, here's the deal. <laughs> On the last trip, and the trip before, and every other trip in this trailer, we end up running, this thing has a lot of lights, it has a lot of electricity use. Mm -hmm. We end up running the crap. So here's, this, here's what sucks about the last trip, right? So we went on a ride for about, I don't know, five hours, mm -hmm. and, the, and the generator ran that whole time. The entire time they're gone. So then we got back, I turned the generator off, right? Then we used the lights and all that stuff. Then we go to bed, battery goes down. You just made me think of a song. Can I do it real quick before I forget it? Yeah. On the last trip and the trip before, uh, Your mom's batteries, mom. batteries. Your mom's old. You know what? That's not how it went. You made me mess it up. Anyways, go on. So anyway. Batteries beeping. Go on. Anyways. So yeah, we end up, after all that, we wasted all kinds of whatever. Juices. And, and wear and tear on the generator. And then we right. come, and we still end up with a dead battery. So I immediately said, screw that. We're going to put... He auto. ordered, yeah, he did order this from um, camp online. So 3.30 going outside to start your trailer is no fun. No. Yeah. Well, he had to put Especially clothes on, and I never even stood up and helped him. I said... Especially when your truck's facing the other way. Yeah. Yeah. It was, and it was, <laughs> by the way, yeah. yeah. I heard the truck start up, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so glad I'm the girl. Sometimes it's good to be a girl. So all you feminine, like, women's rights, get up at 3 in the morning and do the stuff. You don't want to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm all about, I'll clean the kitchen all day. It happened to me and I just put another blanket on. <laughs> all right, so what we did is we got this guy and it's a Magnum and uh, we'll not put a link, you know, we don't want to lie. Oh, we're going to try it. I'm going to say I'm going to put a link, but I don't know if I will. But there was a specific model number. Oh, it's right. I think it's maybe right there. I don't know. I can't see that. Maybe That you is a, let me see it. That is a Magnum AME AG S0040. And that's a software version 6.1, it looks like. We're a yeah. standalone version of this here. Um, and that is what we found online, the one that's uh, most used for the Onan generator that we have. And here's the thing. Any of you that watch the channel regularly... Wait a minute! You're going to be a little surprised a by A sighting this. has occurred. He has instructions in his hand. I actually read this. I don't buy it. I read... I mean, I skipped a few little parts, but I read all of the pertinent information. I don't, I don't know about that. You can quiz me on it. Okay, well, right. that's not fair. And I watched the video. So. Well, there you go. That makes sense. Here's the thing. Uh, here's the plug for it. We're going to pre-wire it right now. We went and bought this stuff, and if we're using the wrong stuff, just let we're us gonna know. We're going to pre-run. We're going to go ahead and use it anyway. But here's what I bought. What was this, a 7 connector or? I can't uh, remember. 5. 5. I think I got the other one. Anyway. It's seven. No, it's, it's something. A, it's a between five a 5 or, and a 7 something. Yeah, it's a 5 or a 7 connector one. And so what we're going to do is we're well, going to take our... There? There's power many of that are right here in my hand. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So it's a seven. Wow, right those there. are even those. So these are cat uh, category. Uh, these are actually category six colors. This is what I'm talking about. When I say, "How'd you sleep last night?" and he goes like this and lays on the bed and just closes his eyes, that's the same. That's my life. Go on. <laughs> I don't. What's that have to do with this? Because the same thing. It's however many it is. Is it five oh, or yeah. seven? It's however many I have. That's the same answer. True. Go on. Is you. How many are we using? Five. Rob, Proctor. Look. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is we'll probably come back, but I'm going to strip these, and I'm gonna, I'm actually just going to fill this whole thing up, and we'll use what we need on the other end. Okay. I so, like it. So this goes here. We have some screws somewhere in the right there. We got some loose screws. All right. So, okay. All right. So I'm just going to kind of set this aside right now. I think what we're going to do is we got to figure out where we're going to mount this panel. I think it's going to be. Like right here. Yeah, right above. My right movie. above center. So we'll figure Since, it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out, out in a minute. Since they decided, to, I mean, I get it. You can reach in and push start okay. stop. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, this piece, this cable here, is the data cable. Plugs into this box, and it plugs into this controller, right? Mm-hmm. Like so. So we're gonna connect those up. But before we do that, we're gonna figure out. We're gonna. First, I'm going to take this meter, mm -hmm. just confirm we have 12 volts off of this guy right here. This is our 12 volt off the batteries, right? 13.1, mm -hmm. where it should be. We're going to hook up the power probe to it. We're going to use this power probe to double check all of our other stuff, just because it's the way to do it. It's so much easier. I love it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is start confirming what's what. So. In the instructions, which you're going to grab in a minute and help me out with, mm -hmm. uh, we need to pull ground. Mm -hmm. 
uh, power. Ground is brown. Um, green. On there is, is that? Yes. Okay. So that's a ground. Mm -hmm. So brown is ground all the way across. All right. Now we got power right here, which uh, we're going to probably pull for something. So we have a three. Okay. We have a, hold on, flip this up. We have a three position momentary switch, right? Mm -hmm. So when you push it this way and hold it, it uh, connects two of these terminals. When you push it the other way and hold it, it connects the other two. Wants to start, start the generator, it just now, yeah. wants to stop it, right? Mm -hmm. The so, bottom one is uh, your fuel pump. The prime transfer yeah. switch, yeah. Yeah, it does two things. Primes yeah. it up and... So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look and see what we have here. Okay, so here's what we discovered. We need a... Uh, when the generator's running, we need a signal for that. And that's this orange. Okay. Right, because when we fire it up... Run signal. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna look at the instructions and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. You can see here, but look, see this plugs in like that? Oh, okay. Yeah. So blue is two. Blue is so two. blue. Blue goes where? Blue. Number two goes where? Number two goes. We're gonna flip on some lights here in a minute. It's gonna be a little bit brighter. We're geeking out hard. <laughs> I mean, this is some true nerd class. I'm right learning now. about electrical stuff, and I get scared, but, um, yeah. I don't know, I did a little we bit of electrical stuff. It. Yeah, we worked through it. Ready? Yeah. It's a little bit of a mess. we got to clean some wiring up. We're geeking out. We're doing a science, ex science experiment, it's for sure. It's an awesome freaking science experiment. I'm really freaking excited. Ready? Yeah. It's this. Meter turned off. Okay, so here's what's going on. Like we already talked about earlier, and we were doing the wiring and all that stuff. We, uh... We put in an auto-gen start because right. we're tired of... When we, when we mess up and wake up in the morning and can't do anything because the battery's drained because we left it running for five hours. Yeah. That's me. Well, um, well, no, it's not dead because we left it running for five hours. Well, then we came it's, back and used every single light. It's dead light. because we ran it after that and didn't ever turn the generator true, on. True story. That's true. That's what happened. So, um, now we don't have to worry about it because we're going to set it up and then we'll tell you guys uh, how we set it up. We set it to run right now how it's set. Is not a how-to. There's a how-to. We'll there's a how-to, yeah. So yeah. what we're using, I'll try to remember, Tyler, to put the... I'm sorry. I am sorry. But I'm busy. I'll, I'll try to remember to put the links to the parts that we use. But we're using the um, Magnum, which is the recommended one for our generator. We're running on an Onan 5500, the quiet model, the EVAP, um, in our toy hauler. And we are using the controller that was recommended online per that generator. So settings are kind of default. Except I didn't set it to 11 volts. I set it to 12 because I feel like some of our stuff needs a 12 volt surge to kick on. I don't know if that's true. My guys, it works sad. So um, we set it to kick on at 12 volts. We're not using the time function or the uh, temperature function. Um, and uh, that's where we're at. So I have it set to 12 volts. I have it, uh, the time is set, like 8 a.m. Oh, so it is running in 12 hours. All right, let's just see what happens. So we're going to enable um, the controller. Uh, based on the settings that we put in it. He did all the hard work, all the wiring and the seven wires and this and that. Um, we're not done, so don't look too closely at the wire. We're no, we haven't cleaned it up, it up yet. we got to put it all together. So let's take a look. Let's go down here and take a look. Let's go down. You go enable it. Okay, so... So I have to turn... This is the... Uh, enable this is, button. Uh, the enable button, the remote portion, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enable. Yeah, and just leave that on enable. I'm just going to leave it on enable. I don't know so. if there's anything changes lights when you enable. I don't no, remember. it doesn't. Um, so what you want to see is you want to see the ready set to a solid green. If you have red or if it's flashing, then you, that means you're in a fault and you need to go to your troubleshooting manual. Um, the status, uh, that only clicks on, I think, when you're doing the test mode or when it clicks on. We'll see right now. Let's take a look together. So what we're going to do, we did it earlier and it worked uh, just as a test. But see that voltage is probably a little too high. So we're going to flip on every single thing we can in this trailer and get the voltage to drop. There we go. Drop it off. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's up. Lights. Camera. Action. We got lights. Yep. We're going to turn on the inside LEDs, the outside LEDs. The living room is on. The kitchen is on. The porch is on. Uh, oh, I should pop the slide out a little bit. 12.3? Yeah, pop the slide out. Oh, there we go. Look at that draw. Oh, here we go. Keep going. Oh. Oh, gotta keep going, hang on. Still coming back up. I gotta suck all the juice out of it. Yeah, 
It has to be at, for a consecutive two minutes. Two minutes? We better flip the heater on then. Two minutes at that. Okay, we're getting down now, look. Okay, good. Let's put the slide okay. out. Let's bring it back in. Okay. Oh, let's go out a little bit. <laughs> this is a test. It's a good test. You want to enable, right? You yeah. You want to do a test. The slide is the most juice sucking thing in here. It's a super slide. All right. We're at eleven nine eight. We got probably about a minute to go. So oh, twelve oh eight. Out it goes. Two minutes at uh, what it's supposed to be at. Around two minutes. And you can hear the relays click on when this thing's gonna go. Okay, let's just let it sit for a minute now. Okay, we're at 1197, let's let it go. Yeah, we should be able to go. We're under 12, so it should, any any minute you should see it click on. And if not, we're gonna edit this part out and we're gonna make it seem like it did. No, we're not. We're gonna call the company and just lodge a major complaint because you ruined our whole video. Yeah, it worked. It did work. It did work a minute ago. We just missed it. That's okay, look. Oh, it's, it's gone. Here we go, listen. It's initial. Initializing start. Start sequence. It says status is flashing green. Here we go. Comes on. It takes about 30 seconds, I think. Generator start. What? Know. Nobody pushed a button. All right. That was automatic. Auto gen set. Oh, what? Who's the electrical geniuses? Him. But I was here. <laughs> I was here. I read the instructions. I uh, did set the theme above, the dip switch settings, but the rest of the time I was uh, telling him how he was going to get killed by electricity. I'm sorry. I just love you. I got scared. All right. Oh, look at that. 14. Three. Yeah. Battery's charging. So how long is it going to run? Huh? So it's charging because the gen's on. How long is it going to run? I set it for one hour because that's the lowest you could do. Is that Okay. So it's going to run for one hour. Okay, we got everything cleaned up. Uh, I still have to put the cover back on the fuse box. But it looks so much better. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think we decided we're going to maybe put some type of a protective case uh -huh. around the... Maybe. Possibly. Anyway, so the module's mounted down there. You can barely and so see let it. me show you. Down here, this is the AGS module. That's the auto gen start. That green light that you see, that is for the ready indicator. There's a green on this side that would light up the status light, and that flashes when you're either testing or when it's about to click on, depending on what settings you have here on these these little mabobbers. Mm -hmm. I kind of did a default, except for um, instead of setting it to 11 volts, I set it to 12. I didn't want to have it dip too low where it couldn't turn something on that was crucial, which is the whole point, probably the heater. Um, so we did 12, and if we need to adjust it, we will down the line, but right now we're being safe. Yep. Um, we have it set to uh, run for one hour because that was the lowest setting on this particular one unless there's a way to bypass and get to 30 minutes. But we did figure out that if we need to stop it, we don't have to ever hit the disable button here. We're just going to use the stop button. And if it So if it's run for 30 minutes and we, we're good, we'll turn it off. And if it needs to kick back on because it needs to charge more, it'll automatically it will, turn itself yeah. back on. So. All right, let's let's uh, let's put it in test and you know and test do it one it. more time and, and that'll be it. Yep. I don't know if you maybe you hold it. We haven't tried test. We haven't. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, look at the. Oh. Light. oh, there you go. Yeah, there it goes. Flashing status. Oh, it's even. Flips that on. It's testing because it's not less than twelve volts, or is it? Oh, it's just a test. It's testing to make sure that we have continuity that the power is that, that we set it up right, basically, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The power's going through the one, two, three, four. And it did its thing. It totally did. So I think it's going to shut off here in a second. Is it should right? be about 30 second run time, I think. Let's just see. All right. Um, let's see if it shuts up. I don't know if you can hear the generator or not, but it really it's a, did start. It's own You can tell by the light that it started and it's running. But this, I tell people all the time at work, I'm like, it's so quiet that we're like, it's a generator run. We're at home in a neighborhood. We're not out camp with other generators running, and it's like... It's an Onan 5500. Yeah, honestly, normally when we're camping, we can Boom! Yep. Test complete. So now we put it back to its enable already? Or no? Yeah, we don't want it enable right now because okay. we're going to go to bed. I'm going to put that cover back on. on so nobody gets electric shocked. It. Good job. Yeah. All right, we're doing this. Bye.